Big up everybody. <laughs> yes, Beauty. Serious banter. Back again this week. Myself Pico. Myself Bugsy B. Yeah, today we have a a, 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 a a quite interesting show. First and foremost, let's big up the sponsors. Um, this week our show's clothing is sponsored by none other than Money Bags, you get me? Their pieces. So go and check them out. Also, one of our sponsors are Quailers. Go and check them out for your morning acting swordfish and them porridge teams. breakfast. Them teams. Mad stuff. All them teams there. Um, who else we got? Blue Rum Entertainment. Go check them out. We need to come and check you still. And um, Honey Pot. What a staple food shop in the community. Go and check them out. So yes, my brother. Go on, go on. I'm here, man. I'm here. What's happening? Nothing, man. Just air so. What's going on since last week? Well, yeah, I'm here. I've been looking out. I've been trying to find out full for what you get of the week as well, you know. That one's kind of hard this oh, week still. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've been looking. So please, I'm not the team, can we, can we try and find someone you get yeah, me? Can yeah, we try and find three nominees? Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Chris Rock. <laughs> Three nominees. We'll come back to that. Well, yeah, first and foremost, today's show is about Bugs. What do you mean? What is it? What is today's show about? You tell us what today's show is about. Blood, the Channel U documentary. Channel U documentary. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a very good documentary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Man, I have to talk about that still. Very that interesting. That was a serious thing still. Very serious. I didn't realise. I didn't really. You don't realise how important something is until it's not here. And then, not even when it's not here, I shouldn't even say that, because even with, even with that, I didn't even think about it like that. But you see, watching that back and seeing what channel you really done, it's an absolute madness. You, you have to big them up, blood. You have to. For me, it was like top of the pops for poor people. Man, you get top it. of the pops for poor people. What's wrong, what's wrong with you? What's, what's wrong with you? And I rated my top of the pops. <laughs> <laughs> so, so What's wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with you? Because an uh, important statement was that said when people was talking throughout the show and that's they were saying that like even when their their parents didn't have the money to pay their bills, yeah, channel you was still a show that you could access on your TV. So for me, that is broke people telly. Yes, yeah? poor people TV. <laughs> and I respect it. And we all did. Do you, nah, you know what? You know why? You know why I'm not calling it poor people TV. Poor people TV was five channels. Uh, not not poor people didn't have Sky. You know, I know what Sky weren't standardly in every yard. No, but some people don't get it twisted. Some people used to have Sky for one month just to get. Remember, there was some free channels you used to still get. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you know the science man out there, don't get it. Like, I want to cancel my subscription. Why? Why? I just don't rate your service. And it's, yeah, like, but keep, I'm keeping keep the, box, the box though. Keep the box you and get, get the free channels. So, Sky One was free them days, isn't it? They had free channels, yeah, brother. Yeah, you could still watch The Simpsons, you right? I understand, so. Yeah, yeah it was and Power Rangers. Me. Power Rangers was on Sky One. That was important. A very yeah, that important was mad, time in our man. life. That was the start of this thing. And what I also found very important about this documentary, right, and quite shocking, is that this was started by like two, they're now middle-aged white men, nerdy guys, never had no experience in music videos or nothing. Yes, yeah, man. The idea they come up with. Yeah, but let me. You see, they come up with an idea. But the direction that it went in, 
the direction that it went in was a um, stumble thing. Kind of, they kind of stumbled across yeah, the channel YouTube. Boom. But they stumbled across the UK thing, innit? They only stop. They still. how they how they come well, in. They were British. They, yeah, but I mean the the, the the UK music videos team. Mm -hmm. They stumbled across that. Right. Remember okay. the you come. Remember they was. Remember when they first started, they were still playing American stuff. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And then they got the U in. Remember the other U come in and he tried a thing. The he needed content. Guy. Remember he needed content, and that's how he just come up with it because he needed something to put on the telly. Mm -hmm. And they came up with the. That's when they stumbled across the English. <laughs> music video content and he put it up and it, and it took off and that was and that's monumental blood i don't even think because because even even now like, what year did it start 2003 they said that's when it was yeah 2003 and that was a hell like that was 20 years ago we were all in our prayers so what that was i thought it was before then you know i, I, I thought it was before then yeah. I thought it, was that, right? it, was, it was it was 2003 to 2000 and, I thought it was about like 2001 at least. That early no, 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 no. They, they said they were there, innit? They started it. They <laughs> said, <laughs> <"Yeah>, I'm just saying. That's his own fault. She let me know. <laughs> so, yeah, so I thought it was longer as well. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they were there, innit? They started it. <laughs> so, yeah, boom, <laughs> yeah. And that was quite surprising because that was that on everyone's telly. <laughs> oh shit! That was our I'm thing. gone. I'm gone. I'm, I'm gone. You done me? What you done me? You just done me. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go, 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 go. What are you saying? Yeah, so 2003 they started that. Yeah. All right. Cool. 2003. Now you got to think about it, though, yeah. How, look how many men that are big today are from Channel U. One million. The whole of Channel U. A million percent. Still, you gotta think about the people that they bust. They still started making tunes with Kanye and Common. She made eight tunes with Kanye. No, she made she made a couple tunes with Kanye. That was that was the kind of camp that she was with. Common, okay. Common, Kanye. That that was that was the kind of. She was signed to Kanye. Was she signed to Kanye? Yeah. Oh, she? See, there you go. John Legend. John John Good music, Kelly. John, John Legend. Signed she to was John signed to John Legend. Legend. Didn't she was signed to John Legend, yeah. not Kanye. Not Kanye. You said she was signed to Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> John Legend signed her, but she was signed to Cardi. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, boom. Mm. Who else? Mr. Wong. <laughs> Where is he? Mr. Wong didn't miss Mr. Wong Mr. Wong, Mr. Wong didn't get it. <laughs> the Chinese run out. <laughs> no, 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 he was, he was no, big, no. though. No. He, was, he was big still. He, he was Chinese team. He was Channel U big. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. He was Channel U big. Now, Wong was Channel U big. I'm a Chinese boy. What did he say? What, 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 what was he lyrics? Nah, he had some wild lyrics. No, nah, one was bad. Yeah. One was a bad boy. I used to read it. He said, I'm a tickle, 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 tickle Chinese Chinese boy. Only Chinese, you did all the black kids. When it comes to beef, I got my Chinese boys. Yeah, that's what <laughs> One was a rude boy, still walking with all the nah, black kids. Channel you was tough, man. You know what's come from Channel you? Tiny, tiny Temper. That wifey team. He was in new, hey, That wifey was team new, was a banger. Dad, did you know he was in that new brand flex team? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Obviously, man, man, that's what I'm saying. At that point in my life, this whole music thing was not cool. Mm. At that, that, that time, yeah. Grand, what it was, blood, it was, it was Grand weren't cool, was blood. Tough. Man was bad boys. No music weren't cool, blood. It weren't cool, blood. Yeah. I'm gonna be real. To me, I'm gonna like, be real. I'm gonna be real and tell mm. man straight. Like the man that made it cool for spitting. Mm. Like man didn't. Man weren't into this rap was cool until the man them started rapping. And until until SE one four slash eight. Okay. Until all the, until that whole movement, I looked at rappers as dickheads. What UK rappers? I looked at yeah UK rappers. Mm. Like I looked on them as. And what was it about it? Was it because dickheads. for me, when I used to hear UK rap here, what used to piss me off about that was like they all came with this American thing. Yeah, that was definitely that part of what it. That is what done it for that me. That was definitely part of like, it. Like, how I do you expect the Americans to even take it? Did you rate Grime MCs though? I did. Highly. You rated them? Grime MCs. You rated them? Grime was my team. No, I didn't rate them. Grime was my team. I, I didn't rate them still. You get me? It was just, just a, it wasn't even just the MC, you know. It was I everything. Didn't. It was the, the drop. The, the nah, tune, me and my friends, the, I, it it was is. every like you see Grime as a whole, it was a feeling. Come on, bro. Grime was a feeling. Nah, man was just man was in man was in their bag them times there, man. Man was man 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 
that weren't there. You get me? Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, if you weren't at that point in my life, if you weren't on badness, I didn't rate you, and they weren't on badness. That's that's just that time. That's just, I was young, innit? Mm. I was on the road, innit? I was doing things, and I, and I used to look at man and say, if you're not doing what the man them's doing, you ain't bad. So. Yeah, man, the same man used to go home and listen to Channel U, you stand it. Yeah, but I can I could flex on all of these grime brothers and say, look, when you lot was grime, man was styling them. Mm. Man was pulling up in big whips and taking you places and buying drinks. Mm. Definitely. You get what I'm saying? So why would I rate them at the time? You lot wasn't they wasn't seeing and at that point they weren't they weren't did you see did you see the boom in the industry like where it's gone? Hundred. You saw it? When? When did you when did you see it? When did you see it coming? Because I never saw it coming. Because this is what I'm saying. I never foresaw it. You never foresee it. No, you get what I'm saying. So it right wasn't like here. it. Was, <laughs> You're doing shows in that pubs and that. See when man was around and man was moving around. You're doing shows in pubs and that. Back. We were uh, dropping them two D shows. Do you uh, remember? Dan, you've gone off. You've gone. <laughs> Let's get back to the you know, documentary. Like, I'm telling you what it was. <laughs> When they were doing shows, the time when man had a rap, these um, Grammy MCs around, man, they were doing shows in pubs and fucking, that's the type of shows they were doing. Yeah. Like yeah. No, it wasn't even like that. It was like places like in Brighton and like Mad Ends. That's where they would get their shows. It was pop they, they was bringing, now you know what? You see them day there? They were fun days. But they used to bring us mad places and bring us around some mad weird old youth. Yeah. It weren't yeah. like you never see, saw this. That's why I could never. Life. That's why I could never see them as to rate kind of thing, Cardi. When I was around them, the youths what they was bringing me around, like you man ain't on half of what you are saying. So yeah, it was, just, it was, it it was, was crazy lyrics, isn't it? at that time. I didn't take it for just entertainment. I thought man was. Alright, so who was your favorite at these times? When you who actually did you respect and rate on this channel? You think who did you see on this? Thing that was cool because I see a couple of people. I see, you see, no, you see, no lay and her little crew, mm. no lay unorthodox. Mm. I rated them, I rated unorthodox. Mm. Who else? I rated um, crazy titch, big up Dobson, <laughs> my guy, um, crazy titch. Who else? I used to, no, I used to listen to man's music, but I can't, I think it's great against man. I, like I was, Wait, oh, it, oh, oh, podgy, podgy figures, yeah. When I saw that couple, I was like, I rated Channel U. Clash, not like anyone else. Clash, Clash the car, car, Skinny Man, Kayla, yeah, Skinny Man. You get me? Come show some names out there. Do you remember? Sway, Sway was Sway, tough. Sway was tough. Sway was tough. Swiss was tough. Swiss, Swiss. When you come out with that crack right. tune, brought Channel U. Um, you get me? Hey, you remember that like bear man in there, man? Man, that bear man. If you come down to the woods today. What did yeah, you want? Yeah, my mom. I hope you like to drink strong Budweiser. You have to add some yard. context for those, the younger fans, though. So yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're gonna have to. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. They're gonna be lost. They're gonna be lost. Like their arting is actually nuts when you check it for the youths. They don't know channel youth. Like it was not. Imagine like <laughs> all, all channel youth things look like phone recordings. No, the worst. No, no blood. Let's look at you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, you good? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. So for the kids who don't know, what was Channel U? Ooh. Channel U, bloody hell. What was it before it was 365? It moved around a few times. That's, that should be so simple, but that's actually not. The epicenter of black youth culture in our day when we was coming up. We had a rave scene, a club scene, we had a pirate radio scene, and then out of nowhere, there was a channel. The other day, I tried to back out a DVD. <laughs> On a U, he was moving like I was mad. <laughs> like, 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 wrong, blood in the mic. Straight yeah, up, like he moving like, what is this, blood? What you, he don't even know what, what, you, why you got this? What is this? <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? It was nuts, blood. Yeah, it's it's true, mad. Man. When you check it, when you think about it, yeah, like a Walkman. Blood, ask a seventeen-year-old what Walkman is. That was mad. Just say that to him. Don't even, don't even describe it. Say a Walkman. Yo, you know what a walkman is? A man's gonna say that's a man that walks. <laughs> it's real too. <laughs> what, what else is he gonna say? It's real too. A cassette. Mm. Imagine, Channel U days, man was still taping. Yeah, of course. Channel U days, man was still taping. Because man was still taping Heartless and um, Roll Deep Sets. Yeah. Remember, if you take Bucky after winding it up, oh, the youths, them don't know these struggles. Yeah. 
and you have to cut it and sand it. When your favorite tape pop, when you hear it, when you hear it in the stereo, go and you see it and you start pulling it out, and it's just oh, bro, your favorite tape. I remember my heart was set. You might even lose a couple of seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. as long as yeah, you can lose a couple of seconds. Yeah. yeah, you can lose a couple, but blood. I remember losing the sets. And what was it? Saskilla was funny. Yeah. 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 We relics, you know. Let's get it. Man, our relics, you know. I just was, yeah, Channel U was was the part that um, yeah. allowed you know, us to communicate what we were doing across the country. And in, yeah, in no, places. no, definitely, so, so, definitely. So, so in terms of what social media is to the kids today, do you know what it was? Channel it was U like was, YouTube. Was your, your YouTube. Yo, 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 yo. Like, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> hey, we got one in the building. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, do you know what it was? I told you. Do you know what it was? Younger gender. It's like YouTube. Tell them what's going on. Remember the new show? Alright, so, so, we have a man in the building that actually used to be in Channel U, you get me? Yeah, yeah. Hey, come stand and that. show your face. Come show your come face. Come show your face. Oh, no, come show. Oh, hey. What was your MC hey, name? Hey, come man. Oh. Come man, oh, what's wrong with you, blood? Yo, channel you. Can't show your face, man. Like oh, you was on, were you on the, were yeah, you on the documentary? Wait, what's your MC name? Younger Jenna. Were you on, were you on the documentary? I am like Younger Jenna. Hey, were you on the documentary? Of course, bro, we are not. Yeah. Hey, put, I am actually here. Hey, 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 hey. My man here was on the documentary, you get me? I'm actually interviewed Younger Jenna. So what, can you just give us, give us a little interview like what you gave the documentary? Cool. We're going to get the four crews from the ends. Get the biggest producer from the ends, which was Protege at the time. He had the silencer rhythm going at them times. He had loads of rhythms it's popping big, at that time. Active, active, like, active, active, active. So young man, come, on. come stand in the middle. Come. Let me ask you about these times here. How you was around? I heard you talking about one of the women that was breast there still that used to work for Channel <laughs> I said U. that in the documentary. Fuck Did you? Come on. What are you saying? You're fascinated. 100%. I was a white girl. You're talking about music. That's what I'm media, Yeah, yeah. Swear that. Yeah. I sit on the floor, though, so they can see the music. What was your tune called? We done Hands in the Air, and then we done the next song called Girl Next Door. Don't they? So what was... All right. Was you around? What year did you have your first encounter with Channel U? 2005. Yeah, 2005. 2005. Oh, five, you know, so yeah. where were they such situated then? I wanted in Old Street. Old or Street, something? yeah, Old Street. Literally, you couldn't even park up there. You had to get like a. Why you was driving them times? Bro was driving, fam. Yeah. How old was you in 2005? Eight. About six, seventeen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit, so my phone's ringing. Go on. What, what, what's the difference now using what you what you had then and the tools that you had to use for Channel U back Bro, then? To then that, the, how you're able to? Right now, to, you can you can make a, a music video from your phone, right? With the 4K how everyone's phone is right now. Them days there, it was like, if you never went to a green screen studio and had a camera like our kind of set up now, but a big camera, them were no small cameras. Them cameras, there were some big cameras looking like a whole TV or a big back on mm. them times there. Mm. And mm. like the footage, it, you had to watch it back. You had a big like TV where you could see the footage going on. It weren't all screens and 4K eyes, man. No way, that. I was taking three weeks, four weeks to edit and shit. So Did you ever meet them, man? The, the two, that? the two guys that started. The no, team? no, but I, you know, you know the wickedest thing is I could have, but in, in in the in the in the in like the compartment where their studio was, here, it was like they had it set out where it's like a big room. So it was like everyone had desks. It was like a big like industrial building, if you see what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. And everyone had desks where it was like there was people all over there. It was like some big big room where everything was just what would you say there. what would you say what would you say channel you done for you oh bro channel you yeah. like for for the for the tune like everyone still talks about that tune up to this day and that was what, what literally what 20 years ago as man said right so for the for the not even say for the not even for me for the whole industry and it's done madness because like man said when it was like hard days no one couldn't pay for or ask about sky you had that channel banging everyone's song on there and it took like a two like day a free YouTube. Literally, it, it took that three days. You could subscribe to tune today. Like you go online, print out the the, um, the subscription form, fill it in, send it back. Buy a post, you know. This ain't no email. You had to write. No, it out. tell the wow. people. Wow. Like, hey, wow. Tell the people them. Wow. You had to wow. write. So you had to even be able to read or write them day there to make a tune. Wow. You, had, you, had, you had to write. Even let me tell you this. You see that? Like, right, boom. We done an eight bar tune. So there's like 
40 man on the song. Everyone had to write their bars out and send it so they could copyright it. Because they owned the song for a year, you know, my bro. What they, channel are you? They don't, it's bare yeah, shit. You don't know, my no, bro. All right, with their money coming back to... Did you, you, not, did you not make any money? We never made money. They made money. Because of the ringtones. And I and explain that. Explain that. All right, cool. So, if like, they copyright your song, they own then, for a then year. if they own your song for a year, anything that comes, with. anything that comes off of that, that song. in that year but is theirs. For you to, to so what? So what do you get out of it? What do what do you get out of the deal? Because you're giving them your content, yeah. Mm-hmm. They struggle for content, mm-hmm. okay. What are you getting out of this? Obviously, Promotion. you get expo- Okay, so Promotion. do you have to pay for your music videos to get made? Yeah, you have to to get to get made. You have to pay for it as a collective. There's fifteen of the song. That song cost five bills to film. I remember. Done it in Woolwich. So and that's like a how much now? Like a two bags now, eight. That, now that video would now if we done it now, that video would cost us like eight bags. The oh, way how sure. it was done. We went to like some back then, like we, we all kind of we got a little link because bro, the brother that produced that song, Protege, bro, he's like one of the biggest producers in the world, right? The second man that Protege. Big up protege. Produce. Big up protege. Check, 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 How come I'm producing Lion King from Beyonce? Come on, that's some big shit. Is that what you've done? Come on, extra shout out to my man. Why are you from the end? Check, check, check. He's going to his yard and chill, my brother. And he's the whiz kid. Whiz kid. What are you still doing it? I know, it's a hard luck act, but damn, it's hard. Hey, come down. 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 Hey, come all right, Jay Nutton, we're gonna bring him back for an interview. Big up yourself, young um, gender. Young gender, big up OGs still. Hey, big up, big up, big up OGs. You get me? Big up OGs. Yeah. Famous uh, Yeah. Look, some unexpected visitors. No, it sounded. It sounded. We've got unexpected visitors. Yeah, yeah. It sounded. It sounded. Um. Yeah, but it sounded like a man of the gripe as well. Mm. It sounded like there, as much as it was good, there's there's a dark side yeah. to it. Yeah. That's that's what that's what that was giving me. Mm. Like, they bumped me. Who do you think got paid? Like, how do you think they got paid? Because I know they were saying about a voting system well, that didn't really work. They used to, um, yeah, you used to vote. You used to vote for the videos, used to and buy they, it. I, the used to buy the yeah, you used to buy the ringtones. Ringtone, yeah, because that, that, that was what my man. That was his original business. That, yeah, his original yeah. business was ringtones, and mm-hmm. so they used to sell ringtones, and they used to get you to text in for what video you want to play, but they never used to play. It. They used to just play the same playlist. So that's false advertising. Then. I, no, not really. Cool, cool, says. We talk about Why, if it plays, if the song, if it plays, you're playing your team next. Yeah, but do you know what? Do you know what? Aye, but do you know what? They didn't say when they were going to play it. They didn't say when they was going to play it. No. Small print. We got your message. We got your message. Oh, basically, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the money's been did that. We've, you get me? We received your payment and we've got your message. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Hold it. So that's that. That's that. You get me? But yeah, but Channel U's like, Watching it back, man, I, I, I seriously didn't realise how much Channel U meant to the to everybody. Changed the whole thing. To so. everybody still. No, no, you, and I'm not a music man. Look, I used to think music man was dickheads, but it still meant a lot to me. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? No, it changed it, man. Channel U was busting, man, on tunes. Man got the first na na na. You get me? That piece, I swear man. they all had a Mavado on there. <laughs> Lick down Channel U. I think that who's the most sec- hey, what? Who would man say is the most successful graduate from Channel U? What the biggest viewer? The biggest who who the Dizzy Rascal? Who's the most successful graduate? Dizzy Rascal. Dizzy Rascal. Who's the most Who's the most successful Channel U graduate? Dizzy Rascal. Calm down, lads. Everybody get excited. It's got to be it's got to be Skepta. No, but who had the biggest tune though, lads? Dizzy Rascal. At a point, at a point, Tiny Temple was global. 
But wifey, that is what. Yeah, because wifey, wifey, they started remixing it and making beer different versions. Yeah, did she try to have a couple number ones from that team there? Yeah. What? 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 Was they playing them on Channel U? Yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. cause for me, I was in jail at the time and they were the first set of tunes that, that made me know, right, this thing's no, they were guanine, good. you get me? Hey, Tinchi was like a youth when you used to hear him on the radio. The radio sessions were the hardest. You like get me? But what they like say, the if you never got 8 to 12 or what is it, 8 to 10, you had to do the graveyard shifts. And a man saying, Vlad, you'll be out there at 4 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> spitting. Yeah, no one here is your team. No one here is a graveyard shit. Bacon that's the old school. But they might have to be tough. In the estate, the shit. Let me tell you something. You see that? Ritz, what was it? Was it? Oh, what did that man that used to come on? What what's Deja this Deja Vu? Vu. Nah, up front. Nah, 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 you know what? Mm. I know you want that. Hey, do you know what? Tiny Temple might be one of the biggest, you know? Definitely. Mm. Tiny Temple definitely I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. one of the biggest from Channel U still. What? See, Amanda. What are you talking about? You see what it is, yeah? I see more fight crew make a comeback the other day. No, at, they didn't make a comeback, they tried. At um, party in the car park. <laughs> and I'm just there. Yeah, Raven, uh, Raven I'm car just park. waiting there for one, one, the main man, innit? Before he dropped the man. I'm waiting, like, if there is no man. lethal, there can't be no more fiery. And then I realised, raw wow, lethal don't come to, come to places like this. <laughs> <laughs> so it's never gonna happen again. You're not fucking lethal in the car park. In the car park, Reeve. You Chad won't see him. Chad come back. You won't see him. You're not, he's not doing it. Him. And that's the difference. Them man they roll in the car. Them man they roll in the car. He used to be bringing them to these guys. It's sad though. Them man they roll with Max OD. It's done. It's done. Bro, what's wrong with Max OD? It's done. I'm just saying it's done. Nah, it's done. Take that back. Take that back, bro. It's from the wooden. Now I'm saying the scouts here. Why? Who are. I'm not. No, listen. Let me just say something, yeah? You see. Hey. Let me just say something, yeah? I'm saying like this. I think Maxwell's. You see Maxwell Ranger? I grow with him, you know? I grow with him, trust me. Maxwell Ranger. But hear what? I don't think his music really stood the test of time. His music? Yeah. Blood, he was in the dance talking about Blackberry, my Blackberry hype. I don't know. I said no. what? No, listen. He ain't even no, remember. He's not coming with that hey. iPhone hype on. Hey. No, no, listen. Hey, listen, hey, listen. listen. You, see, you see, there's certain MCs, yeah? There's certain MCs, yeah? That has stood the test of time. Like, when you hear the lyrics, you still have the same feelings no. that you had. No. When well, you had the feelings when you heard him the other day? Man, boy, that's part of it. Yeah, that's like, I was gonna shit myself. That's what I felt like. I felt like I was gonna shit myself. Yeah, but it's a true song. Yeah, Who? Who? Max OD said. No, no, um, no, 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 no. Blood, he's still doing that. He's still doing that. He's still doing that. He's still doing that. Blood, no one don't want to hear that. He done that the other day. D Double still does his thing. And it goes up. D Double different. D Double different. Don't bring up D Double and Maxwell in the same sentence. That's a violation. That's a violation. Man, don't do that right now. You don't do them things, blood. Just don't do them things. D Double doing adverts. Man's bringing up D Double and Maxwell. No, no, no disrespect. But Maxwell. So even Maxwell himself will tell you, D doubles the man. Are you mad when, when you hear, ooh, uh, it's, uh, no, no, it's finished. Don't get me started. I'm saying Maxwell D doubles Don't get me started. Maxwell do his thing and get his forward. Max, no. And get his forward. He can get forward. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Hey, one person How old is Maxwell D? Same age as the people we're talking about. See, I'm trying if I'm nearly Are you older than me? See, if I'm nearly 50, man, I have to give me more than just a forward. <laughs> the fuck? These <laughs> people are coming out here at 1 o'clock in the morning in front of you fucking lot just to get a forward. I'm nearly 50. It's supposed to be in my bed. <laughs> fuck this. So for me, I'm not doing that. I for a forward. No, no, listen. 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 No, 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 listen. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, listen, listen. No, wait, wait. No, it's harsh. Wait, hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. 
Hey, what I'm saying? I can't do. I can't do. I can't do Maxwell like that. I can't do Maxwell like that. Maxwell will still get a fool. He'll still bust up a dance. Where? But not where. Not for me. But he will bust up a dance. He will mash up a dance. The people in there. He bust. He did it the other day. He got a forward. He got a forward. Absolutely. Dance. Dance. Always in the new years. Everyone there wants to be a top shatter. Shatter. Whatever he, that's not even him, that's Major. What's Major is? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the whole genre. The whole genre. That's not even him, that's Major. Still is. The genre is strong. And he's a part of it. The genre is still strong and he's a part of it. Give him the the genre part. is definitely and strong. He, Give him his I part. did say from the get go, young man, calm down. I said, man, I like Maxwell, he's alright. But Maxwell's played out. Hey, uh, hey, that is no, no, Listen, no, no listen. No, hey, listen, no, right, right. Hey, right. right. listen. You know what? You know what I think. Hey, I was hey. there the other night. Do you know what I think. I know what I hey, think. Remember, about. hey. Do you remember when Pays you go clash Heartless? Street? Yeah. Wait there. No, no, hey, no, hey. No, no, no. What I'm saying, yeah. Boom. You remember when Heartless clashed? Um, Pays you go. Mm. You remember Maxwell's lyrics in that? That kind of ruined him. That kind of done him from then. I am at it. Got body. I'm at it. Oh, go again. Oh, go again. Yeah. Come on. Lyric for lyric. Calm. <laughs> lyric for lyric. <laughs> right, listen. I'm not into that. I'm not into that. Run the lyrics, blood. Hey man, that was a ego, tough ego, match. Done. Ego Where can done. you go and find that? That footage there. Oh, you can go and find that. You know where I went the other day. You know where I went the other day. I went 30 years of heartless. And let me tell you something. The man them are timeless. For skanking. <laughs> hey, the man them are timeless, blood. You see Mighty Mo when he start touch mic again. It's mad. Like I'm 17. Yes, yeah, But with no beef. Imagine me being in a heartless rave, feeling like I'm 17, but I've got no beef. I ain't got to look over my shoulder for nothing. I'm just in there bubbling. I can't say what I can't say. <laughs> what? What you want to say? The same songs. They might need the same songs as well. Man. Who? Bush can Who? Well. But they stood the test of time. That's it. They're getting the forward as well. For me. Now you see their things. Their things are the thing. I'll tell you why Heartless. Heartless. Black Swords. I'll tell you why Heartless is a bit different for me, yeah? Because they play different genres of music. I'll tell you why Heartless is a bit different for me, yeah? Because they play different genres of music. They play different genres of music. They're not just on all grand. See you like Chris Biscuit. You like it her day, Chris Biscuit. No, Chris Biscuit. Chris Biscuit. Chris Biscuit. No, you can't see it. Are you not dumb? Have you not heard that Chris Biscuit? Who's funny? Who's DJ funny? We have an anti-UK boy here that was born in the UK. This is just nuts. But hear what? He hates anything to do with UK music, UK food. And he's from the UK. He just eats ackee and saltfish. Hey, you get it? It's mad. I can't salt fish and boiled banana. Nuts. Yeah, it doesn't. That's what I hate to do. But yeah, no. Nah, hear what I'm trying to say. Artless, artless are definitely tired. Artless, you get artless was on channel you. Ah, uh, but when when everyone in the '80s gets to the, you know what I mean? They're, they're, is their music still playing? We're not, this is not what, we're not running their music. We're going right back to Etta James and then people there when we get to the same. I tell so you, so they're that. timeless. Who? Their timeless is gonna cap out. Why am I going to Etta James? I'm not, I'm not talking. You <laughs> right, let me just tell you something. I tell you one thing. Yeah, I'm not I old, can see. I don't have no memories with Etta. I can see at least five of them. I have there. none. I have zero memories with Etta. I can you see, see heartless. You see when I put you're heartless not, on? You're not you see when, you you're see not, when I heard Mighty Mo the other day? You're not, you're, you're not with your... I was thinking about beef in Coliseum. I'm telling you. It was mad. Thing. <laughs> That's what it does. Man, I'm going to be in the right. 60s listening to I Love You. Yeah, I love you. Facts. I, I, it's I, facts. They will remix that because it's that's facts. a classic. You know, that's man's thing. Yeah. You never need Don't to get it twisted. No, every now and again, I crank up. Wait, let me turn the time. You see that? You see that sidewinder set? Cat. You see that wily? You see that wily dizzy sidewinder set? I still beat that oh, to this day. day. Are you oh. mad? Wiley, mm. wily dizzy sidewinder set. Allow me, blood. Allow me, fam. That's go and search that on YouTube and listen I'm to it. I'm playing it for my man the other day, my car. Allow it, man. Allow it. Allow it. Allow it. That set. You see that set there? I can't listen to it. That, oh, you I can't listen to it. Oi, 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 oi. You've changed. You've changed. What are you saying? That's not your thing no more. No, it's changed. It's changed. You see, you see what? I said I'm a big man. Yeah, I, 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 I would always go back into my memory box of music. No, I, that's some nostalgia. I'm not a nostalgia. It's, that's I, not. It is. The man don't listen to Piper. Hey, let me tell you what I'm thinking. See revival. <laughs> See revival. See revival. Where do you think that is? Do you think that's new behaviour? <laughs> yeah. That's
that's old behavior. That's one of the first set of music you listen to. What are you talking about? So that's what the point I'm making. You just still listen when to you it get now. to their age group, you're gonna go straight back to them man there and you play do, some it? Sanchez and them lot. You get it? Not They're not going back to them. No, no, listen. You see, you, you said it to James. Bro. Don't talk about it. I know, but do I just don't do that. Man trying to say that to James and Sanchez are the same team. No, but the point I was making is you're gonna go back. To classic timeless music. I had my moment. That has that. That has that title. I had my moment. I'm just saying we are already not listen to in listen to Heartless Crew maybe three times a year. All right then. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Whereas you're probably gonna put Sanchez. Something more time. So what memory? What music are you listening to right now? What music are you listening to right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm listening to that Teflon and Boost album. Huh? What, are you Did listening you to like that? Little Dirk or something? Yeah, no, I these, mod, these modern music. I just told you, Tef and Boost. Yeah, modern music. You listen to modern music as well? Yeah, whatever, yeah. You listen to modern music? Not really, still. Right, do you listen to modern music? All kind of music, yeah, but I listen to mostly, ha- mostly classic. Oh, shit. Mostly classic old stuff, really. Yeah, I listen to like classical and jazz. That's not. Nice. <laughs> Lie up there. <laughs> you see, all that, all that hard. I don't even believe it. I don't even believe it. He said the truth. I'm being jokes. Man, I love music, bro. <laughs> listen to me. Love it. Love it. Love it. You are not gonna make me feel like me listening to jazz and. And those things Blue are romantic. Blue ticks are Blue for ticks are for announcements and bring back R and B. I think I think you lot should be the catalyst for bringing back R and B. What you want? Hey, you know what? You know I what? You I was like, thinking about so this the other day. Now no, you know what? I was thinking about a ninety a nineties vibe dance, like a big people thing, but ah, uh, like man's time. When man, you, when, every man you, dance, you, when man goes, goes there anyway, huh? Every, every dance usually goes, goes there anyway. As the no, as that, that sector. But man, no, what did you say? Let's make it a thing. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? Let's say, yeah, man, like to exclude. It's not always it's about including everyone. No, but this what this is just one thing. It's not. We're not. When when do we exclude? Exclude one the nice one thing. thing. Yeah. Whoever wants to listen to it can come. Mm. It's not excluded, like but though, how it? many people are going to want to listen? Like, like you're saying, if, if we for a dance and was playing at a gym, how many people, what kind of people I'll are going to want to listen? I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> Even if I was throwing this dance, you say <laughs> R&B, <laughs> you're playing R&B for the whole dance. Even me, the one that's hosting it, ain't staying for the whole dance. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You say, As a whole for an hour, I'm gone. I'm not yeah. doing more. You think I'm doing two, three yeah. hours or four hours of no, R&B? Not, no, not straight fuck? R&B all night. Come on, bro. You get me? That, 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 that kind of vibe. <laughs> no, man's, man, man's gangster rap. Man's, man's generation, that man's generation no, is gangster rap. Let me tell you something. You see, when you go out to Raven, yeah, the worst things you can come across are the one genre of music playing for too long, yeah? And you see when you hear the same song more than once, yes. that'll make you, I'm at a stage right now where I just feel like throwing stuff at DJs. <laughs> like you really done this yeah. again. Mm. All right, let's be honest. Oh, it? that. I, you're taking indirect, so let's, let's say it, innit? Like, man's tired of them super D sets. No. Oh, man's oh. tired. Oh. No. Fed up on it. Fed up on it. Fed up on it. Fed up on it. Man, I can be honest. Man, I have to be honest. No, why? What? Can I tell you something? Listen, who feels it knows it, right? No, wait. Yeah, I support. I support the team. Man, I fed up a super D. Man, I fed up a super D. What are you talking about? The same. Blood, he's got the same set list for about six years. I tell you one thing. No, I'll prefer to listen to. Kismet and Wigman. All day. Hey, you nuts. All day. Big up Kismet and Wig. All day. Because blood is the same set. Blood, every, sound, every dance I go to sounds like original. Super D is sounding. And what's wrong with the same? Blood, I don't want to go to the same dance 
sue the tag. I tell you why. I don't want to go to the same I party. Don't, I don't cuss out. My see life. originals. It's that guy in yellow. It's in yellow. It's that guy in circle. See circle. circle. It's that guy in pioneer. It's that guy in pioneer. Please. All these dots is like rough. All these things are the same. I mean, this is like buying Heinz yeah, and buying Sainsbury's, bro. Can I say something? Go on. Oh, one man's talking. Let the DJ talk. Let the DJ talk. Nah, there's no DJ here. Let the DJ talk. Let the DJ. Some some promoters might book you and tell you to do a certain thing. So sometimes you can't always blame the DJ. They got their own promotion. It's their dance. No, but what? I'm Brother, El, I'm it's their dance. dance. <laughs> you don't know about <laughs> English music. Yes. Allow it. Yes. yes. Yeah. No you don't, like, you don't like England. Don't, don't get involved in this thing. You get me? This is an English argument. I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> you are telling that, right? No. Hey, man's tired of the set, blood. I've heard it. I so swear. Look at I've heard they it. They start. I've King. heard it. You see, anytime they start, kings and queens move uh, together. What did you say? Uh, I, 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 what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what you got the originals? <laughs> no, no. Okay. For me, the music's just on repeat. It's just, it's just the same thing. Where was that? You've done it once. I know the flying all. things, That's isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was that was that was that was that was. You was there as well. And do you know what's not you lot? You lot do the same thing all the time. See when the same song comes on, you lot do the same. Ah! Shut up, blood. You, you heard this in the car coming in. You listen, you want to be listening to a set that sounds just like this set coming to this dance. You get to the festival and it sounds like the one that was on SoundCloud in your car. Some men don't go for that, though. Brother, man have to start going and pre- man have to start preying the service man's getting, 100%. yeah? Cause man might as well go there, put SoundCloud on a big pussy yeah. class speaker, call Magic Fingers, get SSP, wire up your phone to SSP and play YouTube. The fuck? <laughs> Dance, in it. It's facts. Yeah? yeah? Where's know, the DJ? Hey, it's oh. facts. Where's the DJ? Hey, oh, hey, he's running out. Listen, we, 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 had, we, we had um Super D and Cold Steps at the... um. Oh. Man gets the next two songs park, and rave, left. Rave, rave in the car park. I left. Man, guess their songs like this. Man, up left. Off. You see if this comes up next week. Man, go cut out. <laughs> it comes man up next week. Man, man, off. Go on. Yeah, but we've been in a car park. Hey, blood. We've been vibes. listening. We've been listening to Super D. Listen, 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 listen. bro. Huh? Listen. No, wait, wait, stop. Let me talk. Yeah, hey, yeah. Listen, listen. My listen. next word is that. Listen, man. Man's been. I, you know, man's been following Super D for a long time. From from E1 days. Man was part what? What's the problem? What's the problem? There were no shots fired. I said we've been following him. We've been following him for years. They're gonna be giving you beer horrible looks, you get me? Super D's a bad boy DJ, he just needs a new set list, man. I'm not saying he's not a good he's DJ. A good I'm DJ. not saying he's not a good DJ. Super D is a bad boy DJ. I rate him as a DJ, but, but I don't rate set. the same set. No, 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 no. Done with it. It's facts. He's a DJ then. Huh? Okay, DJ's about sets. No, no, no. I Let me tell you. I know, I know he can DJ. See right now. I know he can. Wigman is the big man when it comes to Pause. this this genre. You get me? That's my, that's my thing. Don't look like nobody agrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's the thing though. But you stand on that's the thing, thing. that's the thing. I know, it's about, it's about personal, personal preference. That's why I'm team. at the wig man dances and you man are at dead man dances. Stand on your own team, man. General. Do you get it? Don't fuck with him. <laughs> General. No, that's real too. Well, last week, man, we were good to you. On the weekend. In the bar, in here. What? You was there too. You was there too. And you loved it. Wigman was ah, in here. Ah, big up Wigman. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the man that forget it when's the last time he come to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Wigman was in here. 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 Wigman there's only so much you can do though. You do this thing for half hour, you've done everything already, you're just gonna do it all it's again. Like we went in the park there. Black coffee. Mm. Black coffee. See, was like, you was talking that. about the same song. He literally played the same song. Let me tell you. With her. another song mixed over. Can right? I just tell you one thing? The man flew here from South Africa to do that. I respect. But 
No, no respect, you can't, you can't, you can't, why? You can't, you can't why? say that. Why? No, because he's on a different, he's on a different level. So no, what it is, when you're at that level, you sell, it's you worse sell than your you, set. You just went You out. see, if you're going on a tour, you kind of do the same set where you think Chris Brown done a different set every fucking night. Brother. You've done the same set. Brother. Brother. Tour. Brother. 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 You had two rules. You had two rules. You said if they do the same song. Yeah. And what are you saying? When is that original? Do you think he's on tour? Don't. If it's original, he's on tour. What is it? Ian on tour, bro. It's a local set. One question. Are you going original? You mean? Yeah. I never know if I'm going. Oh, you don't know. You got it. Yes. Are you going? My favourite festival of the week. Let me ask you lot an next question. I'm going there before I go wireless. No, you lot are something. Let me ask you good Samaritans a next question, yeah? How many of you lot are going without no ticket? But I'm planning to get in. <laughs> you're acting like you're not support Super D. Yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll buy my ticket. No, buy my fuck, ticket. yeah, I you. Do. Not everyone does. I'll buy my ticket. When you talk about these dads, mate. Stepdads and yeah. real dads. When you talk about children that have a certain level of respect for their real dads and another certain level of respect for their stepdads and the reasons for it. All right. <sighs> so, so, all right, we was having a conversation, yeah? And there's a, 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 a set of young men, especially, that will, that openly said that they would ride, or if they had to say, look, I said, someone's life. I said, I said, if my, if, if my biological dad and my stepdad were drowning, and I could only save one, I'm saving my stepdad. And I wouldn't think twice. I wouldn't, there's no question in it, there's no nothing. But that's because I don't know my man. I don't know you, you never did nothing for me. I don't know you, you could be another, you could be another person. You gotta understand like, as much as, as much as this blood and this connection through blood, yeah, we don't like, that we, we don't connect like that. Cause you can be my blood. If I don't know you, I won't pass you. Mm. We connect off of our interactions. So if I have no interactions with you whatsoever, like none, not, don't remember, you know, I'm not saying like, oh yeah, he was he was there till I was free or yeah, he used to pop up every year or something. I'm saying like, no interactions with this. They can't expect you to want to say None, that. I had no interactions with him. I don't know him. As far, it's got to, it got to a point where I just started looking at it like, yo, you're just a man who laid down with my mother. <clears throat> That's the reality of it. Mm. My stepdad was at home. He was giving me money. He bought me trainers. When I hurt myself. Nah, man, I said he was. Gave me peace, bought me trainers. When I hurt myself, when I hurt myself, he was there. He taught me how to fight. The man, I I used to get, I got bullied. I remember my first day in primary school at Oliver Goldsmith. They bullied me and I came home and I was barred. The man taught me how to fight and I went back into school and top up the youth. That's my dad. That's that's who I shared everything. Did you check? Did you change your name? No, because I never had my I've never had my biological dad's name. That's never been my name. That's never been my last name. I had my mum's last yeah, name. Yeah, you see what it is. That is an absolute detachment, so I I get it. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it's because like, I, being, I do get it. Yeah, because being, you know, having your surname and someone that has this experience and regrets their choice to remove a name from my own children, yeah, that actually when I check it. Actually, I had an ability to start a legacy. My brothers continued, mm-hmm. and I didn't. So now, in my household, my youths don't even match my name completely. Do you understand? Yeah. And yeah. regardless of how I felt towards the person, when you G-check yourself and you have time to reflect and you look back and you're like, bro, that, that mad decision. Does, that's a mad decision. So Brother. in the same breath where man's talking about like, bro, I'm going to, um, I might not save my biological dad, but there's actually... Some there's some powers and stuff that needs to be really understood about what legacy really means, what name, what family, and understanding that at some point, regardless of what happened before you, somebody has to go. Actually, this stops here. No, you see, and we're going to build foundations from here, even if it has to come from there, and even if there is a slight change, someone has to break that. And having that attitude as in, right, he's not very, very, very. Say, for instance, you took you took my man's name because you really did feel like that. You actually never exist again. No, but hear what I'm saying. Do you get what I mean? You see, you see, you see. Maybe, you see, maybe if I had my biological father's last name, 
I might, have felt, I might have felt some form of connection to it. Mm. I might have grew up and felt like, rah, it's my That's name, innit? Like, like, I owe him something. But, mm. like, even today when a man said, you can't dish your dad, he made you, he put you out. I don't even feel like I owe my man that. It's a total detachment. Mm. And you can't help a human being. understand? Lead. It's what he knows. If you don't know, if you don't know my man, and he can't. You gotta realize, you gotta realize, like, remember, he's my dad. He comes with a whole nother family, a whole nother set of people that are big enough and old enough to check up on me or even give me a phone call or phone my mum and say, yo, how's my nephew doing? How's my grandson doing? Do you see it? That's fine. I'm not in it. I'm not into them. What did they do? Nothing. Nothing. I'm not. I got one. I got. I tell you what. Big up my. Big up Tish. Big up Tish. Cause I met Tish. I shot. All right then. Let me. Let me. I'll give you the little story. I'll give you like, a little story about this. When my when my biological dad died, um, no, before he died and he was dying of cancer, my stepdad said to me, "Go check the man. You get me?" I'm saying, "No way." My stepdad saying, "Go and check him." There's two sides to every story. I'm not saying that your mom's lying, but Harry's version in it before him dead. You're never gonna get to do it again. That's a real man. You're never gonna get to do it again. So my stepdad, my stepdad took me into going up there. So me like a fool took myself up there, checked him. I'm saying to him, "Rah, boom, you're gonna dead soon. What's going on? You got anything you want to tell me?" He's saying, "Boy, we have to talk, you know." But not no. I'm saying, "What? What do you mean not now? You're dying, bro. You're you're basically dead. Like, what do you mean not now? Like, not to be able to speak another time. I live in London. I'm not round the corner, bro." I'm not coming up again. Mm. I left. He died. So we never had that conversation. Now, it was mad because at his funeral, mm. at his funeral, I was refusing to go to his funeral. My, my stepdad again paid. He said, I'm paying for you. I'm coming with you. He paid. All that shit. I went, I went, went to the funeral. Now at the funeral, they want man to pretend. The whole family. They're telling me to go on stage and talk about this man. Like they're saying, go on stage and talk, chat about this brother. I'm saying, no, you don't really want me to do that. That's not what you really want. Cause I'm gonna tell you about, I'm gonna tell you about him, innit? I never heard of him. He's whatless. Mm. One time I went, I think one time I went in the food shop, I went in Bing's. I went in Bing's and he paid for my food. He didn't even come out. He used to work in there. So he didn't even come out. He didn't even come out from the back. He just paid for it. When I went to pay for my food, the woman said, no, nah, you ain't got to pay for your food. Your, your dad's paid for it. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> and that's my blessing from my father. You so, get what I mean? So on saying that, you can get why a certain man will have a certain level of love for, uh, so to speak, an outsider. You get me? Because, yes, yeah, it's who's to blame in that situation? It's your old man. And I do believe this is a man's duty that even if you have had children and whatever's happened in the situation, it's your duty to go and check on this situation. I'll tell you that something. Is. Any any father that's watching this year, as a youth, as a youth that's been there, that's been on the end where they're where they're fiending for a dad. You get me fiending, you know, because at any point, up to a certain point, at any point, he could have walked into my life and, and, give, and given me it. anything, any, given me any excuse, and I'd have been happy for it. At any point, so so there's 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 a certain amount of time that you've got to make right with your kids, and you can nothing. They won't hold it against you. But after that, it's it's the ship sailed, mate. You're out of there. There's mm. there's there, even if you even if you speak to them again, they won't ever have the respect for you like you would like you would like. It's never going to be the relationship that you want once you get past that time. So if you're out there and you're not checking for your you and you're thinking about it, go and do it. Trust me before it gets too late. Hey, you see, if you're with a woman and she knows you don't check for you and she's not trying to push you to check for your child, left that. She's not a good woman for Leave you. that Trust ASAP. Me. Because even a man, he might have weak points and but it's always about you lot coming together to make each other strong. And there's no woman that should sit back and happily see a man not want to see his child. Of course, it's mad. It's mad. But you know what? One thing I will say about, about my biological father, he's consistent. He's, he's consistently he's, he's, absent. He's, he's consistent. All, all my brothers and my sisters. He's cons- <laughs> but you see what? <laughs> you see what? No, you know what? It was mad though, because you see what it was. You see what? <laughs> consistently absent. absent. You see what it is, yeah? When I went to the funeral, yeah? Like, my brothers and my sisters, 
absolutely adore this man. They like adore this man. And that was mad for me. Do you feel like it was because you weren't up there no more? Did that have any contribution to it? Do you feel um, I think, you know what? Um, knowing me and the mentality that I've got, I think if I was up there, I would have hated him more. Are you the only child that is out of Birmingham that he has? That's left yeah, Birmingham? Yeah, yeah. And all the rest of them love him? Yeah. So you get on trying to say there has to be... Obviously, there's no justification for it. Don't get it twisted. But is that... Would you... Could you look at that and say that that is the man's character? No, because you see... If in the early days, when I came down from Birmingham, I spent all my time in Birmingham. I was only in London. I, was, I lived here, obviously. I went to school here. But holidays and all of that, I was back in Birmingham. I, was, I shipped up to Birmingham. Early doors, I was always going back to Birmingham. Birmingham was, Birmingham was a regular visit. So there was more than regular. enough. There was more than enough the opportunity for him to get to make his move. You get what I'm saying? I have a big up my auntie because when I was... Uh, She's the only one that's the only one that's reached out, my auntie Blanche. I think when I was when I was thirteen or when I was thirteen or fourteen, she reached she's she but my mum's sister and reached out, me and her speak. She's cool, I bought her. But it's like, you know like they're my family and I've been around them, but I'll I'll never feel like I belong there. Mm, definitely. Like, you get me, even when I'm with them, like, yeah, I feel like, yeah, this ain't this ain't my place though. This, I'm looking like, you know when you're there like, you're all right, cool, I'm cutting soon, this is nuts. So, so, so from your, from your stepdaddy's, your stepdad's perspective and the family outside of your stepdad, is that genuinely how you feel towards all of them, how you feel towards him? Um, my cousin, my cousin, my cousin Tish and my auntie Blanche, my cousin Craig, I got one or two cousins, one or, one or two cousins that I, that I mess with, like, but they, they mess with me. That's what I'm saying, they mess with me. Like, they don't, the other people that don't mess with me. Obviously, when I was in the hospital last year, it was like, yeah, we was worried about you, but I can't ever take them things serious. Because that's not the first time I've been in the hospital. That's not the first time things have happened to me. I can't, I don't know if you're serious about that. So I don't, I don't, I take it with a pinch of salt and I ain't running down a relationship. Cause when I, what you gotta remember is yeah, like I said earlier, when I was younger, I was fiending for a relationship with my family. Mm. I was a kid fiending. Like I used to go, I used to take myself to Birmingham at 15, I'll go Houston, get the train, go Birmingham and look for them, try and try and try and look for them. Mm. And they never made me feel like I was part of their team. So it got to a point where I said, yeah, you're mad, you think I'm checking these people? What am I? And, I and that's, the, again, that's the man's fault because him not introducing you even to your family. No, but they, everybody knew about me. Everybody knew about me. I wasn't, I wasn't no, I wasn't no hidden secret or nothing like that. Oh, my grandparents, my around grandparents, around. my grandparents, my uncles, all of them, everybody. Did you spend time around them? No. And that's what it is. They no. might have known about you. Though. No. Basically, you know what? You spend time with you know what? different team. My my grandma, my grandma, she put me in her will. She put me in her will. She did, but I said I don't want it. That's that unrequited love, and that's that legacy that we're talking about originally, and understanding that actually this is more important than the individual that I have my grievance with. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? And if if we understood that as men today. Yeah, and it's all well and good. Stepdads play a huge role in many a life, right? And I'm, and sometimes we are grateful for those for those duties, but it's also the duty of the stepdad for him to teach that child about legacy, about legacy, and understanding that it doesn't matter what happens. You will never and really blood be mine, and I can't never be that you, person yeah, you, for yeah, you. And more so, I need you to understand that so you can continue. Otherwise, you will be lost amongst amongst some of this source do you understand and, 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 and it's just having the perspective now and i suppose you can only do that in hindsight in it you know what i mean because the same way your grand put you in oh, that, right. the same you way see, you know what i mean see, you see, that. No, no, this is what i'm see. saying this is what i'm telling you like mm, my legacy is not my legacy is not attached to them in any way shape or form very much is but it is it's not but 
it is. No, it is. biologically it is. Yeah. Biologically it is, but it's not. They, they don't. Yeah, but listen, no, listen, let me say, let me, 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 let me break it down to you. Let me break it down to you. Let me break it down to you. Like, we are, we are related by blood, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, biologically, we're, we're connected. But we have no connection. I have no connection to this family. You don't understand what I'm saying? Like, they, they won't ever know my kids. My kids won't ever know. Apart from my cousin, apart from my cousin Craig, Tish, probably Tyrone, they'll never, they'll never, Imagine, no, yeah. And I tried. Listen, I'm listen. Let me let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because even now, since I've had Mimi, yeah, since I've had Mimi, yeah, I brought Mimi to my cousin's birthday party up there, yeah, and it's the same thing. Okay, it's the same thing. I'm gonna give you an absolute prime example of why bloodlines important. Yeah. So yourself was ill, right, and understanding how that sickness ever came about from being healthy one day to now being like I feel like I'm under this weather and understanding that bloodline now if that was changed three or four times step that come in air do, 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 you might not never understand whether this trait was ever something that was in your hand and what you could have done before right and this is the point of understanding that at some point we need to understand they need to understand it doesn't matter what happens we need to follow this pattern so we can protect ourselves for generations to come and that is important and it will be lost with the simplest One thing million percent. as a name trust me whoa hear what i'm saying to you it's gone, it's gone. Uh, would you uh would you say the child because me my heart's were there for me but i didn't have i know what's funny go on sorry i didn't have a step back so i never had no male older figures other than obviously my uncles and that to look up to do I regret that? No, I think that done me well. Not having it allowed me to grow up and be my own man. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Obviously, I missed out on certain things, but I don't know how I will feel against my real dad right now. My real dad, he hasn't been there for me, and he still can come around me, and I'll still look about him. I had another man take his place. I don't know if I could still feel this way about that man. Do you get it? So I'm see, just happy see, not having another man in his place. That's a valid point. Because that was a that was that yeah. was definitely one of my faults that my man's doing what you're supposed to be doing. Hundred percent. Why 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 do I have to do this with my man when you're my dad? Now you see if no one was there doing nothing that no one was supposed Might to be. Might have been doing. different. Might have been different. Alright, uh, do you would you say that in order to tango you need two people, right? Yeah. Right. So the full story about how some of those situations come about might never be told, right? Yeah. So some of those things that how we feel and that animosity is because half the time half of us are ill informed. Do you understand? Ill informed is one of the biggest major things. Yeah, but that's black it's families. not. It's not. Listen. Yes. Listen. It's humongous. Your, your daddy being absent. You're, you're not, not ill informed. You can't see him. No. No. Listen. I'm that's not saying. Not, I'm not saying be, that. You, you see that? Mm. This is what I'm saying. You can't. You can't. Listen. The information that you even heard from your mom, because let's, I'll be honest, I'll be honest with about this. I didn't, the reports that I got about my dad weren't the best, but that ne- that never that never stopped me from wanting him. That that never changed it. That's important. That never ever made me think like, bro, I don't want this brother. Because as I said to you, up to a point, I was feeling for this dude in my life, and then it got to a point where I just said, bro, you're mad. I'm a bad boy. I don't need no father. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So. That, that's how it goes. Like there, there can be there can be no misinformation there. It's either you're there or you're not. It's that simple. Especially yeah, there can't be. It's that it's, simple. Especially if you know about. If that child is, if it's a knowing child, and you're fully aware of this child and stuff, and you know where to find this child, then there is none of that. Blood. Let's be honest. Like, let's be honest. How many friends have we got? Yeah, I'm not gonna say nobody's name, but their dad's a waste man, and they love him to bits. Hmm. That's a proper wage man, but they love him to bits. Mm-hmm. And can you Definitely. imagine, like, can you can you imagine what their their mom was saying about their daddy? No, I, I agree. I think I think there is. I, I, I don't the disagree misinformation with the team, fact that action. You see, action. How your your feeling towards that individual, yeah, isn't correct. He deserves all of every all of that anger, yeah. But to understand that you're going to look your grandparents in your face that raised the good man to have children or whatever it was and they check for all their kids or whatever and they can show you an example of how they're supposed, how they raise a family, yeah? 
And then you look them in the face and say, nah, because of him, I'm done with all of you lot. And they did you nothing. I'm, not I'm saying it's I'm bigger not. than the individual. Yeah, but and I think the young boys now that, that grew up without their dad around, didn't it? Take all that anger that they take from that individual instead of venting it towards that. They vent yeah, it. but this you is what I'm saying. Sometimes you this gotta understand saying. this, yeah? You see if that's the flock you're coming from, yeah? That's your family. You knew this man before me. Before he had me, he was your family. When you lot have no influence and can't influence him in no way, shape or form or get onto him or make him see what he's doing is wrong, what the fuck am I doing around Forget you Forget about lot? that. Forget about all of that. What am I doing Forget around you lot? That. I get that. Everybody can, everybody can have their own individual relationship with man. And I, it comes back to the saying of this. Any grandchild, any human being that wants to be around somebody, they, could, they will find time. Exactly. They will find a way exactly. of getting there and, and they will find and you know, time. You see, you, see, you see this whole thing what you're saying about legacy of a family? I could have still been part of that family and still hated my dad the same way I do. I didn't hold, I didn't hold no grudge against them for that. My dad's an individual. He's accountable for his own actions. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. Mm. But they wasn't there either. I never got a phone call. I never got a text. I never got a birthday card. I didn't get... We, we were what? just talking about how hard it was to do get um, your music out there. Man's <laughs> not getting numbers, probably. You know how it goes. You no, live in London, no. they live in Birmingham. No. Oh, <laughs> because because you see what this is. This oh. is the thing. This is the thing. Yeah. You see. You see. You know. You see the. You see the setup of Birmingham. Birmingham is like a very. It's a very small community, and everybody knows everybody, and every family knows everybody. Like you can go by family names. Yeah, they're the Williams. They're the Colders. They're the. They're the whatevers. They're the whatevers. They're the whatevers. I'm accessible. From my nan's house, my auntie lives. My auntie lives a seven-minute walk. They know each other. All these people grew up together. Certain I'm accessible. Don't want to do it. Exactly. No, there's I different don't. reasons, you know. You gotta realize this because there will be a. There's people that have favorites. There's people. There's different reasons why men don't turn up. That's just it. There's different reasons why men leave. But what next? That's it. But what next? So you, that's before. So what next then? So what comes from you? What next? What, what next is you have children? to make sure that your children do not go through. When you ask me, do I regret not having my dad around? I will tell you I don't. Why not? Because that's allowed me to be that dad that I need to be for my child. If I did have my dad, I might not know the psychological effects of not having a dad might change the way I do with my kids. Now, what that's allowed me to do, look after them. I've never slapped them. Do you understand? I've never, I don't see myself as abusing them in any way, shape or form. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Now, see if I had a dad around me that used to beat me. I might want to beat my youths. It's a different, it, that, trust me, it has a knock on effect. So when people ask the question, I don't regret it. I'm quite happy because it's allowed me to know what I, I know. know. I don't, I don't beat my youths, but I used to get my ass. Not all parents are good what? parents. No, I get that. Kids, but the only reason why I you know, don't, do you know why you don't like, do you know why you don't beat your youths? Because you didn't used to like when your ass was getting whooped. It weren't nice and that's why you don't do it to your kids. I think, I, I don't I, think anybody like getting beat. I, I some people I like beating their kids. No, but some like Some people beat their kids for no reason. Like, what? What's that? Yeah, and Chris, come in and box out your face. <laughs> like, oh, you're, taking, you're taking Chris without art skin. <laughs> Remember them people? Yeah, you know that. when you go, hey, they're cool houses. You know when you go to your cousin's house and they're on him and it's awkward and you're like, I wonder if I'm going to catch it. Mm. It's mad. It's mad. Man got beat for taking Chris. They're looking at you because you got Chris as well. Like they want to lick you, but they you're can't. looking like, Auntie, these are no frills. <laughs> and you still want to beat me. But that's why <laughs> when your cousin goes and gets up and brings you up and says, No, nah, I remember, you know. Hey. Remember, I remember school. being in the yard and watching a man get beat, you know, blood. That's some scary shit. That's torture. It's fucked up, you know. You got to think about that. You're sitting there watching a man getting a beat thing, waiting and waiting to see if you're going to get a beat. You're there watching to see if your torture is going to bust your head like... <laughs> uh, see, when I was a youth, uh, yeah? Like, see, when I was a youth, yeah? I had to go to my <laughs> nan's... I had to go to my nan's bridging's house after school, yeah? Huh? Hey. Huh? I feel like when I was more, more fear based than, uh, than painful. No, aunties bust your ass. I got a beating from both my aunties. Hey, do you want to come by the table? Hey, do you want to come by the table? Hey, do you want to come by the table? Yeah? Hey, what I'm saying to you, when I was a youth, my nan I had to go to my nan's bridging house and wait for my nan while she was coming back home, yeah? And I was coming from school. I walked up to this door, right? And I knocked the door, right? 
and someone was getting their ass whooped. The man, the dad in there, whooping the son. I'm not the dog. The man said, who is it? I said, no one, and I walk straight back off, man. And now the youth, these guys, I remember. I said, I don't know what this shit is getting. He get me. He said, nobody just cacked it, moving. No, but you know what? You know what? I've got to say, yeah? Some of them beatings really worked, man. That's what I'm going to say. That some of them beatings the worked, man. Some of them That's beatings the worked, man. The but then some of them, I got beat. I got beat. Enough, enough of the man them got beat as well. Enough work. man it didn't work. Enough man it didn't work. Enough man it didn't work. But were they necessary? What, the beatings? Yeah. A lot of them were, but a lot of them weren't. A lot of them were. I'll tell you why beatings are not necessary. I don't believe so. I'll tell you why they're not. Because you get a child that you say to a child, listen, if you do this, I'm going to beat you. That child will do it just because you told him you're going to beat him. He will do it. No, He will do it and say, you know what? I know I'm going to take get a beating, but I'm still going to do this thing. Yeah, 100%. How many kids are like that? I, I am. See, if you have a child like that, I you, am. You've that's got, what I'm saying. You're in a losing battle. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're in a losing battle from the get-go. Up to a point. You see what happens? You see what happens, yeah? You see, you see, if, you're be, you see if you beat your youth for everything. You see if you beat your, every, your youth for everything from like the age of three. By the time your youth gets to eight or nine, obviously the beating's nothing. But this is normal. What are you talking about? You can't, it's normal, it becomes normal. Blood, it, by the time I got to 10, getting beatings was it's just like, like normal, right? was just like, it was just like, yeah, all right, cool. Yeah. What's going on? And then, by the, and then when I got 12, I said, no, nah, no one ain't hitting me in my face no more. Mm-hmm. I'm catching mom's hands. Yeah. That was the worst thing I've done. Extended the beating for about 25 minutes. <laughs> but it was an idiot thing anyway, cause I was just standing up there and she's licking me, you know, I'm crying. <sighs> you know, some examples of better ways to discipline them. I'm gonna show you now. You know how I beat my kids now, mentally. Take the iPhone. Let's take with them bell clock for us. Everyone, go get your phone. That's it. <laughs> no, that's how we hey, you, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you that see is me. so powerful. You see. But we didn't have that back then. Yeah, so, so we had to get beatings. What did you used to do? Come back outside. We had to take your bike. What did you do? Take your bike. You're still going to go out. I don't get it. Nah, they don't ground you. I used to call your friends into the window. They don't get grounded. I grounded him was an idiot. They get grounded. It was. It was soft. Idiot. When you're in the yard 24-7, they don't even want you there. Exactly. One day, you do one day, you get grounded, you do a day in the yard, and then you'll be bugging them the next day like, Mom, can I get food? Mom, I want McDonald's. Mom, Mom. Oh, just just go and get up the bomb box out of your hand. Yeah. And you're back on the road. Hey man, I'm here again, I'm bus case. Yeah, you get a ground and you go off. Man. My thing was a straight whacking. Was it straight was whacking? No, it got to a point. There was no point in whacking, that's what I'm saying. They Grounding was the next step in the evolution of my punishment. But grounding weren't working. Because here why grounding weren't working. Because you can't even beat me if I beat if I break this grounding. If I want to go out, you can't even beat me because that, that ain't gonna work. So we just grab me again. I just go out again. It's done. I bust case. And they give you extra beating because you look like your daddy as well. No, I remember one time. <laughs> I one time. That's, that's real. That's, that's, cool. Cool. that's real. I know. Oh, don't time. get twisted. Don't no, shit so no, real, bro. I know that. Like, see the trauma women go through. With some yeah, women go through with with people's dad. Remember, there's women who are getting bred by men, and men don't give a shit about their youth. Mm-hmm. That creates an extra hate on top. That's the next fifty percent on top of what you've done to me. I don't think you're allowed to even speak about their things, no, because no one's admitting to them. Yes. It's I'm real though. You. I've heard it's real, friends bro. who do that. It's oh, real. Uh, you look like your dad. You look like your dad. Bang, bang, bang. You need, you need someone to, if you're bitter, so you oh, are, can't talk about this. Right. <laughs> yeah, but man used to get that abuse, but I never, I used to get that as well, though. When I think about yeah, it. Yeah, but it was someone who's smart. You, you, you go, what, less like your daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah someone's smart. Someone's smart, though. No, I don't know. Because of the punishment. No, bro. I don't know. Listen to me. Because why are you bringing it up? Why are you bringing it up? Because of the punishment. Why are you bringing it up? 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 Yeah. Why are you bringing it up? Trust me, you brought up in your anger. You were bringing it up like, you were beating me for that. You, you told me I'm too teeth and I, I shouldn't lie. And then you said, you're just what? less like your father. Hey, yeah. Some moms are so smart, they just won't mention that when they're beating you. Yeah. They just beat you. 
And in their head, they are saying, you look just like your daddy. And then that's why I was getting beaten. Straight bullet belt. My mother had a belt full of bullets. <laughs> yeah, Dental yeah, bullets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real bullets. Yeah, that's mad. A line of them. Pah! When I mean the welts on your legs. And you're like, I don't even know what I'm getting beaten for. Because there weren't no explanation. Nah. It's getting you see, I, you see the next evolution in my, in, my, in my punishment after I got too wicked for the beatings. My mum tried to draw for a rounders back. And dust me out. I was running down the road barefooted. Yeah. I need to bust my head. I'm saying, you're nuts. Are you mad? What are you doing? That's my weapon. I use that on my enemies. You can't beat me with that. That's what I told my mum. I said, she's a mad woman. That was mad. Jokes aside, that shouldn't be normalised though. That's mad. What shouldn't be normalised? That kind of, that kind of anger. Like In the house, child, at home, in general, with your family. Whatever it is, you must can talk. We didn't stuff. really give this any what, good example. This is what I'm saying. Because school teachers, this is now, what, we said, uh, this is what, school look, teachers are the ones that see the repercussions of these things. Yes. They're the ones who see, like, you see when a child just is different in school. That is the, the, you get me, the, the, the reaction That's of what happens at home. Yeah. And it's yeah. the school teachers that pick it up. Sometimes they don't understand yeah, it. Yeah, but you know nowadays. You don't get why your child moves a certain How many way. kids get beatings nowadays? They can't. I don't mean it. Yeah, they don't get it so, because be, tutors. Yeah, if you say anything, if you go into school and say you got beaten, it's, so then yeah. statistically, don't that mean that beatings works? Yeah, 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 I think, I think so. Statistically, I think so. To a certain degree, and allowing so you to abuse and, and being abuse so is a different thing. Bringing it back, to, bringing it back to the original question. Now, if we are in a situation where stepdads are are the the person that's involved, the stepdad has less authority and less desire. Let's just not say less authority, less desire to use that method of discipline. Meaning that if, you know, you're left to the fact that the stats say that beating works and he mm-hmm. can't bust that person's head and he's the stepdad. So therefore he's going to... So we then... I won't lie to you. Lose, lose, right? I won't lie to you. My stepdad beat me, my stepdad beat me twice. Was it deserved? 100%. Yeah. 100%. I deserved more. I only got two. And how did you feel about that? And him I, not being but your that is exactly... No, the, let me tell you. Exactly let me tell you. Let me, t- let me tell you something. That you, did f- get. you see, you see the first one, yeah. He beat me because I punched him. <laughs> no, he defended himself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was a mad youth, man. I don't know what happened. I did. I don't know what happened. I can't remember. He was in the car. And he, something got said, and I just kind of just said, "I'm punching this brother, man." Damn. And, he's a and I punched. Him. <laughs> and I punched him, and he punched me up, and I deserve that. And the next time, I can't remember. What did I do? What did I do the next time he beat me? The the ability to parent as a stepdad and the ability to parent as a dad was obviously is key. You now, know what? Yeah. You know what it's based on? It depends at what point the stepdad comes in. Because with me, the thing with me is I never had a dad, and my stepdad's been in my life since I was three. That's a, 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 Do you get what I'm saying? So it depends at a point. Like if, if you meet a youth when a youth's nine, ten, he's not, he's not going to take you on board like I, how I took my man on. Yeah, but there's a breakdown there because you could raise that child from a young age, yeah? Now you see if that child raises their hand to you, yeah? As a man, yeah? That as your stepchild, that could be the breakdown of the relationship. They talking about. I'm not with you, you know what? I wanna break up with you. Why you wanna break up with me? You think I'm having a fuck? He's up. He's out on me. We're done. It could work both ways. Do you understand? When it comes to that, like that's when you gotta realize like a man is really out for you because he's willing to ride certain things. Remember, stepdads go through shit as well. You know, mm-hmm. stepdads have situations where they feel awkward. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like especially my youth and stepdad, cause they know in it. Like my youth was 20 biscuit, give them 20 biscuit. <laughs> so then we have been cheap, we got a problem. So you understand me? But there's levels to this thing. Mm. But they know the Can they bust their head there. Are you they're mad? They're not even allowed to even think about it. The moment they even think about it. You see why it's different? You see why it's different? Listen, you see why it's different? No, I'm joking. You see why it's different? Do you know why it's different though? Because men are in their lives. My dad couldn't have a say on if my man could bust my head. You mm. couldn't have a say. Yeah. If he's dead. He couldn't even have a yeah. say. Like, well, that's what, the what maddest you, thing. What yeah. could you come in and say? But it's mad though as well though. 
What could he say though? Well, a man trying to bash your head. Yeah, like, not your dad. You step down. Mad. It's mad. But if you think your stepdad, but it depends. You think your stepdad, yeah? It depends. Is your stepdad supposed to just walk away and talk to your mum? No, but remember, it's of everything. Hey, let's say this. All right, then. So he talks to your your mum. Say your stepdad stepdad has been there since you was. Four months yeah, old. He raised you from you as a pig. You, le- you don't. I'm telling you, as a, yeah, you don't know though, innit? Four years old. No, you will know. Years. You you will know because people people make you aware of that fact. Yeah, but there's people that will make you aware. You 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 know that it's your yeah, stepdad, yeah. but he's your dad. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking like a ten year old. Or something. Yeah, yeah, that's that's mad. You can't come in and meet a ten year old and talk about I'm gonna beat you. So rare, rare, rare. That's nuts. That's crazy. You wouldn't need to though. If you're what? doing your job correctly. You dip, no, the, you say that's key, but if you you can't say that because is that you're meant to show and represent what he's meant to be. Yep, yeah, I hear that. I hear you that. just do your job. It yeah, might not be as easy as that. Though. You raise up, I just step back. Whoa, behave just lick him on, yeah? Yeah, but what if he's not accepting that? What if he's not accepting that? What if he's not accepting that? If he's not accepting that? What if he's pushing it? If he's not accepting that, what if he's pushing it? Talk to your mum. Talks to mum, mum's talking to him. What if hey, he pushes no, it? He's not even listening to him. What, what, what if mum can't tell him nothing? What if he, what if yeah, he don't hey, you come work, from work, work? You come from work and then you want to give you something. Hey, you think I didn't know that you told my mum, little snitch. Hey, <laughs> be hearing that, you know what From a you. Yeah. From a you. Yeah. From a you. Yeah. Man's in the yard calling big man hey, snitch. Mom. Hey, mum, that idiot's calling you. <laughs> Knowing your phone and you hear him. Big you disrespect. Him. Yeah. Cause them things go on, you know. They that's happen. Like, them they things they go on, you know. They happen. I know. I know. Couple. And that's true. I know. Couple. Buff. Buff. I'm I'm not taking that violation to you, the mum's buff. <laughs> don't right. stop. You know, don't stop. Yeah. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. You know, 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 because your stepdad's greeted your mum and now got a you with him now and it's a separate thing. Yeah, that's all wild. Hear what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah. You see them relationships there, then they're different still mm. and it takes a lot of nurturing and work. Do you get me? But I don't think it, you have any right stepping into any child's life yeah, at a certain age and trying to change his world. Around. After a certain age, you it's can't. It's your duty. After a certain age, you can't. You get me? After you a certain age, you can't. You come into my world, you can't be trying to shift my planets around. You, you gotta deal with what's here. You gotta be there early. You gotta be there early enough to have your input over that you, or you yeah, can't. Oh, yeah. It's that simple. Mm-hmm. You yeah. can't. You listen, especially listen, men, boys, boys, especially. We're we're protective of our moms. From we see a man around our mom and we don't know him, man's gonna get territorial. That's what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. If you ain't there from early, you can't do it. It's not gonna work because I'm telling you now. If I never had nobody in. And my mum tried to bring somebody in when I was 10, 11. I probably would have been trying to be. So basically, you're saying single mums that have got 10 and 11, 10 to 15 year old youths. It's peak for them. Can't have no you. Can't have no mum. Well, especially if the youth rates his daddy. It's mad you're yeah. talking but about. Yeah, that. It's really mad. Mad. My dad's so a you're hero. Saying basically, you're putting them all on the shelf. Hey, my dad's a hero, and you're like, come bring this little pussy hey, in the house. Melvin. That's how they see this thing. Baby boy, Melvin. What are you talking about? Baby boy, see the head yeah, exactly. Oh, baby boy. Guns and butter, nigga. <laughs> Guns and butter. That's what it is. <laughs> Guns, and <laughs> Guns and butter, nigga. That's what I'm saying, man. Trust me. Like, I feel I, I feel it for the mums, you know, because it's hard. It's hard for a single mum, you know. It's really hard. And that's why. Man, that's but you see why. Kids. That's why enough men say they've never seen their mum with a man. Yeah. yeah. Bare man can say that. Great man. And I rate that. them mums. You know I read this. Okay, did you say that about him? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's the whole sort of zero. That was just that's about all a whole generation. another generation. But you see what that's that is? That is like, like that is big sacrifice of a woman's doing yeah. for that reason. You Come get what I'm trying to say? You, then. But more times you're gonna regret it because you see, once it my man know. gets his girlfriend, more time when certain man get their girlfriend and their own family, they don't even shit on their mum no more. Exactly. When certain man get their own girlfriend and their own family, they don't even check for mummy again. You get it? So it's like a catch 22, isn't it? <gasps> yeah, man, man. They don't on that note, though, no we're, we're signing off. We've been here for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So, listen, I want to... De- so uh, listen, wait, 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 before we go. Obviously, I want to dedicate this show to my brother. It was his 10-year memorial on Sunday. And I want to big him up, you get me? AD, Jano, watching over us forever and always. Love you forever, never forgotten. 
You get me? And I'm like, I'm done. Hey, you know what? Cool. We're going to get the four crews from the ends, get the biggest producer from the ends, which was Protégé at the time. He had the silence of rhythm going at them times. He had loads of rhythms popping at that time. Active, active, active. Everybody, rotate your hands. 